Well, Elon Musk was extremely busy in the last 24 hours, tweeting, tweeting away. I can't get it out of my brain. I don't know about you. <laughs> he was posting away on X. And so let's check out the most important set of posts first. This is from James Stevenson. He says, six years and nine days ago, patron saint of Tesla, Jim Chanos, went on CNBC to explain why he was shorting Tesla. He was shorting it because of executive departures. The stock had made no progress in years. Earnings estimates falling, incinerating capital, production problems. Tesla had nothing unique. The competition is coming, and they were falling behind in autonomous technology. Since then, of course, Tesla stock rose in value by 10 times. According to Kenneco's associates, assets under management fell from $6 billion. I'm sorry. So the assets that this guy was running fell from $6 billion 2.2 billion. Jim Chanos had to shut down his short fund, and many Tesla members similarly incinerated their personal portfolios following his tirade. Yes, more executives departed, competition came and went, but Tesla produced millions of the world's best selling EVs, billions of earnings and free cash flow, arguably the most unique design and technology available in consumer vehicles with more in the pipeline and state-of-the-art AI-driven autonomous technology that can scale. Tesla specializes in making the impossible merely late, to which Elon responded, very half decade or so. I'm sorry. <laughs> these Sometimes when you pay, cut and paste these things, you get the weirdest situation. Every half decade or so, Tesla has to do a complete organizational overhaul to reach the next level. That said, our executive tenure is unusually high at well over 10 years at Tesla. Look at that. Didn't know that until I saw this from Elon today. He says, uh, Elon uh, liked this following post from Chris Zhang 001, Z-H-E-N-G 001. I told you that Elon has re-entered wartime CEO mo mode. This scene is familiar to the veterans of the Tesla community. Today, Elon decided to bet the entire company on RoboTaxi. I don't know if all in RoboTaxi is right or wrong. I don't have that answer. And again, Elon liked that post. This uh, starts out with St. Clair Ashley, 7.2 million. That's how many illegals have entered the United States under the Biden administration, more than the population of the 36 smallest states. Over 1,000 of them took over New York City Hall Park here to protest being sent to shelters and they are demanding permanent housing. Elon responds, more than the population of 36 states in over three years. I'm very much in favor of legal immigration, being an immigrant myself, but allowing a flood of millions of unvetted people to enter the United States illegally is insane. He didn't mention not to not to not, on top of that for them to be um, so irreverent as to demand anything. <laughs> Bill Melugin, M E L U G I N, on says, uh, and this is Elon re replying to Bill Melugin. The moment, oh, this is somebody else replying to Bill Melugin. I guess I'll. I think that's what's happening here. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. The moment of this alleged child rapist's arrest while he were with ICE Boston, he was their fourth alleged child rapist arrest of the morning. All had been released by local jurisdictions who refused to cooperate with ICE, to which Elon said, when will this madness stop? Um, the... The uh, F, the free press senior, uh, the FP, this the the name of the account is at the FP, senior NPR editor, Uberliner has been suspended from the public radio network he served for twenty five years after sharing concerns about bias in the free press. NPR has become a hard left propaganda. Candace machine that tolerates no dissent. And Elon reposted that. Um, this is from Tesla itself. This is Tesla posting this. FSD supervised 
continues to improve with every over-the-air software update. The latest version, 12.3.4, is rolling out now. Aresh Malik uh, said this about that. He is uh, uh, on uh, X at minimal duck. To zero in disengagement drive tonight in the rain with FSD 12.3.3. It seems to be getting better and better every day. Also, the auto wipers are perfect now. And then Elon Musk responded to that. And he, he said, uh, I'm sorry. Although I don't have the exact quote here. He responded to him saying uh, that, the, that the windshield wiper thing was much harder than, than you could possibly imagine. All right. Uh, this is NBC News. At least 150 paid premium subscriber X accounts and thousands of unpaid accounts have posted or amplified pro-Nazi content on X in recent months. Mm. To which X News responded, gotcha articles are unhelpful and do not benefit anyone involved. This article lacks comprehensive research, investigation, and transparency. X is committed to identifying and addressing harmful content, enforcing its rules, and taking appropriate actions against content and accounts that violate our policies. The NBC writer mentions 150 accounts, but only provided information to X on 13 accounts of which we acted on, and thus of which we acted on, thus withholding the majority of the content for proper review. This hinders X's ability to evaluate and take act, take action on the remaining accounts. Plus. The additional claims about advertisements lacks evidence, screenshots, or any form of substantiation. And then NBC News, um, it says if NBC, I'm sorry, it goes on to say if NBC News wants to actually help the community to disclose the full extent of the research that underpins the article in the spirit of, trans, spirit of transparency and integrity, it's more beneficial for users that NBC first reports the situation to XB beforehand for a thorough assessment. For its readers, which is kind of normal press uh, uh, politeness, right? For its readers and the entire X community, NBC News must ensure its coverage is accurate, transparent, and based on thorough research and investigation. Examples include praise of Nazi soldiers, sharing of Nazi symbols, and denials of the Holocaust, according to NBC News. So that Anna, Anna Kreider, Joanna Kreider pointed out, they couldn't even provide evidence of the 150 accounts. They only provided 13. It's so obvious this is more about attacking X. Rest in peace, journalistic integrity. And then Elon Musk said, <laughs> I know, I'm finally getting to what Elon Musk said, but you know, I got to give you the entire context. He says there are about 600 million active accounts on X. So the number that we they are even talking about is a vanishingly tiny percentage of users 0.00001%. Sawyer Merritt had this to say about a completely different subject. Sawyer Merritt, he says, in response to my post about Tesla getting rid of inventory discounts in the U.S., Elon says Tesla is simplifying and, and streamlining their whole sales and delivery system. It has become complex and inefficient. Once again, showing that on every level, Tesla is always very, very quickly iterating and making changes and streamlining. He says, we are simplifying uh, the entire system. Okay, then this one is Mark Andreessen. He says uh, that he is uh, launching hmm, new funds. He says, new funds, new era. Launching, I don't, I didn't really quite understand it. Mark Andreessen is at P-M-A-R-C-A. If you want to go see what he is launching, it was unclear to me. I couldn't quite figure it out. I just want to make sure I did put everything up here, though. And he says it's new funds and a new era. Elon says, congrats. This is from Real Chris Rufo. We have NPR in a dilemma. They have to sacrifice their CEO or concede that ideological bias is now built in. Either way, they have entered a reputational spiral. They will have to pay the price now or later, which, of course, Elon says, defund NPR. Um, breaking, and this is on libs of TikTok, breaking the founders of an LGBTQ youth group in Sweden are under investigation for sexually exploiting multiple teens, teens, T-E-E-N-S, including unwanted sexual content and offering them sex toys. And Elon says, 
Oh, I'm sorry. And 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 uh, Libs of TikTok says, why does this keep happening? Elon says, unconscionable. David Sachs says this. The experts are finally admitting that Russia is winning the war in the Ukraine, but they're still lying about why. The reason is not congressional inaction over further funding. The reason is that Russia has more manpower than Ukraine. It produces more, more, more artillery than the entire West, and it has air superiority, obviously. Russia has been using its air power to devastate Ukrainian infrastructure, infrastructure and military positions with enormous uh, FAB bombs. The U.S. doesn't produce enough air defense to change that reality, especially in light of all the competing demands for that limited supply. In any event, what will happen now is that the Ukraine funding bill will pass, but it won't change the outcome of the war. What if we? What will? What it will do is line a lot of pockets, perhaps for the final time, which is the real objection, objective. <laughs> objective here, Elon says. Unfortunately, you are right. I don't have a strong position on the Ukraine war. I know I have, usually have strong positions on all of this stuff. Um, I don't think I have enough expertise to make any judgments about the battlefield. I have a hard time deciding uh, whether or not this is worth it. One thing I do know very, very clearly, when you go into a war, you need to have an exit strategy, even if you're going into the war with an ally. If that ally doesn't have an exit strategy, then you need to rethink what it is that you're doing. You look at the Israeli situation, they have a clear exit strategy. Once um, Hamas is completely destroyed, then they'll exit. Simple. Uh, that's And it's a, it's possible. It's doable. It's ascertainable. All right. This is from Dex, uh, Dexerto, D-E-X-E-R-T-O. Twitch streamer at Silther just beat Eden Ring with only Morse code and a button. <laughs> Stephen Mark Ryan goes, he says, you what? I don't know, yo, what? And Elon Musk responds to that. The final battle is beautiful, but easy. And Dexerto says, try that with Melania. I don't know. I have no idea what any of that means. I'm just reporting. I'm not judging. All right. Catherine Mayer says, I was advised by a more senior female exec that as a woman, I ought to seek a husband who wouldn't mind being supported. An artist, perhaps. Someone with co-equal ambition will be a drag on my career and make me less competitive. Elon used a starstruck emoji. Could you imagine if somebody made that same uh, statement about a man? Yeah, see if you can find a woman who'd be really dependent on you or she could be a drag on your career. Uh, final one of the day, and it's uh, from... P-M-A-R-C-A, uh, quote, it re, um, uh, oh, this is Elon replying to P-M-A-R-C-A. Yes, Dungeons and Dragons, D&D &D was awesome. It actually demythifies, de um, demystifies, there you go, demystifies demons, if anything. All right, listen, this is Randy Kirk, of course. Please hit like. If you're liking this, Please let me know in the comments below if this is really good, if you really like to keep doing this. Do you know it's impossible to get all of Elon Musk's tweets or, or posts or whatever he's doing? It's impossible to get them any other way than what I'm doing here, unless you're willing to spend like an hour doing it, which is about how long it's taking me on a day like today. You got to dig in. You got to try three or four different methods of going in and getting them and then find out what they're referring to. And sometimes that's multiple levels and layers, as you can see. So if you really want to do this the easy way, this is far easier. I can do it in 15 minutes and it take you, well, it took me an hour. Maybe you can do it faster. Um, anyway, um, and so I'd love to know if I should keep doing it. Um, so far, the numbers are really good and a lot of good comments, but I'd like to just know for sure. Um, earlier today, uh, we did a, an interview with, uh, you know, the normal Tuesday interview with Brian White. And wow, it just hit out of the park. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The numbers on that one are excellent. It's like a rocket ship right now. So if you haven't seen that one yet, you might want to go check it out. People seem to really, really like it. So I'll put a card right here for that one. And then coming right up, probably at about 530, maybe a little closer to six o'clock, depending on a few things. Um, it will be Nicholas Gibbs night. And boy, do we have a lot to talk about. I'm so interested to hear what Nicholas Gibbs has to say about the last 
48 hours, which is changing everything in the Tesla world. So be sure to come back and check that out, for which you may want to hit. Maybe you've never subscribed before. Perfect time to subscribe and then hit notify so you don't miss it. And then join Patreon. That'd be a blessing. What a blessing that would be if you would join Patreon. Thank you so much for all you do in support of what I'm doing here. Thank you. And it's been great talking to you.